Ron Tate started playing organized baseball in Plum Coulee in 1957 at the age of 12. He was first inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame as part of the Tays family and next as an individual player. Ron, you quickly developed into an exceptional pitcher shortstop who was playing juvenile, junior, and senior baseball in the Plum Coulee Winkler District. Sounds like you spent a lot of time in those days on the baseball diamonds. Yeah, I did. I, I was able to play a lot. Uh, my dad was fortunate enough to have the time available to help us coach. And, uh, and I enlisted my brother Al to play catch with me at all times, you know, mm -hmm. after school and in the summer when I wasn't doing anything. So, yes, I was on the field as much as I could. It was a family endeavor, really, in many ways, wasn't it? Well, we all participated in baseball, uh, along with some other sports, but uh, Plum Cooley was, was our start in baseball, uh, even though on the farm we did play, started our baseball careers there, playing catch and long ball and fly balls and all that stuff, so yeah, it was a great year. Your first years in the spotlight were 1962 and 63, when you played on Manitoba Juvenile Championship teams and the Plum Coulee senior team that won the Southeastern League Championship in 63. Those must have been very good teams from a small town. We had a really good nucleus of players, even though we imported a few guys from Kane and the Myrtle area. Mm -hmm. But uh, they stayed with us for the two years that we won the juveniles. And uh, yeah, we had a good time. The senior league was Pretty impressive. We were 17, 18 year olds playing the game of baseball and uh, playing against guys like Len Scott, who was a pretty renowned baseball player in his own, in his own right. So exactly. it was lots of fun. In 1964, you were recruited to join the Brandon Cloverleafs in the Manitoba Senior League. And then in 65, you even had a whirl in BC pitching for the Trail Smoke Eaters in the Can Am League. Did you like baseball out in BC? It was, baseball in BC in the trail was maybe not as good as the MSBL. Mm -hmm. um, I think over here there was more, there was lots more baseball players here that could, that were, you know, one to nine were a little better, the pitching was better. Yeah. But uh, it was nice to see the mountains. Yeah, uh, nice experience. Play, play out there and mm -hmm. yeah, that was enjoyable. You came back to Brandon in 65, six, I guess, and became a fixture on Cloverleaf teams uh, that won two provincial and Manitoba Senior League titles. Mm -hmm. And you pitched in all five games of the provincial final against Transcona. They made you something of a workhorse in the playoffs, didn't they? <laughs> well, I've never had a sore arm in my life. It was a rubber arm, I think. Uh, it was, I never, I never had a stiff arm in my life. It was just, it was just great. Uh, didn't get tired. I could go nine innings, uh, come back the next day and, and go whatever Earth Powers asked me to do. You were very fortunate that way, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, it was great. Checking the record book, you also could swing the bat, Ron. In four seasons with the Clover Leafs, you compiled a 295 batting average. That's not bad either. No, I was uh, always, even when I was in Plum Coulee in the junior leagues, playing juvenile, it was, uh, I was probably batting third or fourth all the time, or maybe fifth. It, with the clover release, it was just a little different. I was batting ninth because that was the way they set it up. Set it up. Pitcher mm -hmm. always batted ninth, but uh, there were times when I did bat lower in the batting order, especially in the playoffs. Where I was even pinch hitting a few times when, sure. when needed to be. Yeah, yeah, I could hit the ball. In 1970, you joined the Saint Agathe Bisons for the Canadian Nationals, <laughs> and you pitched an opening game victory over Nova Scotia in that tournament in Brandon. That's a good item for your memory book, I bet. It's, it's a classic. Uh, I wasn't expecting to play. Uh, Dave McConaughey phoned me and asked if I wanted to come out and play. And as well, I haven't really played that much in the last couple of years because uh, I had been playing fast pitch softball. Mm -hmm. And we just came back from a Canadian in softball. And so, yeah, two Canadians in one year. Pretty good. Also on Ron's credit sheet was a pitching victory for Brandon in an exhibition game over the touring Kansas City Monarchs. A baseball legend named Satchel Page was the starting pitcher for the Monarchs. I think you should remember that one. Very clearly. <laughs> <laughs> it was August of 1964. I was 19 years old at the time. Uh, 
The only thing I regret is I didn't get an autograph. From Satchel, huh? From Satchel. Mm -hmm. It would have been a great thing. I've got lots of material on on Satchel about, you know, the next year he went and played in the majors. Sure. He pitched three innings for the Kansas City Royals the next year. So exactly. So yeah. It was great. Nice. Outstanding it. man. Nice to be rubbing <laughs> shoulders and on the mound when he was up there. Well, you're also remembered, Ron, we mustn't forget, for your softball days with the Winnipeg Colonels and as an excellent competitive curler. And as I suggest, obviously you've been a good all-round athlete. I've, I was able to do all three uh, when we were in Plum Coulee. Of course, there wasn't much to do other than play ball and curl. So my dad was the ice maker in the, in the local curling rink, so I spent a lot of time there. Uh, learned the game from him and, uh, of course, my brother Brian and my older brother Bill. We all were sports-minded. And uh, I was able to pick it up and when we went to Winnipeg in 65, I guess it was, we had a local Plum Cooley team that uh, did very well in the curling circles. Ron, what does it mean to you to be a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame? Oh, well, it's, it's a great honor. Uh, I never expected it. Uh, you play the game to enjoy it and to be in the same or thought about as the same as a lot of the other guys that are in the Hall of Fame right now, you included. Uh, it's, it's a great honor. Ron Taves from a renowned sports family in Plum Coulee and a very deserving member of the Manitoba Baseball Hall of Fame.